All right, guys. So today in Algebra One, we're going to work on solving linear inequalities. And linear inequalities follow the same steps as linear equations, with just a little bit of differences as as needed for linear inequalities. Step one is going to be the same. You're going to distribute if ne if needed. You're going to uh, simplify the expression on each side by gathering like terms. Move the variables to one side, move the numbers to the other, and solve for the variable. One difference in inequalities is if you multiply or divide by negative, you must flip the sign. So if it's less than and you multiply it by, by a negative, it's not really less than, it's greater than. And then you finally check the solution. Is it one number, all reals, no solution, whatever. And we'll show you how to do that before we go. Four terms you need to know, and I'm sure you do know them. Less than, on the number line is the open circle, shaded to the left. Greater than is an open circle, shaded to the right. You can also see it as no more than. Or, and then greater than, you can see as no less than. Less than or equal to is a closed circle, shaded to the left. And less than is or equal to is at most and that's no more than. This is also can be fewer and more. Greater than or equal to is closed circle to the right. And this one is at least and no fewer than. I'm going to leave this blank for right now. I'm going to flip to this one so that we can talk about how you graph it. And again, I want to do that because if we have a, a division that's, you know, or a multiplication, those are the ones that are the hardest. So I'm going to divide by negative 7. So I get negative 14 divided by negative 7, and that's 2. But remember, I divided by a negative, so I'm going to flip the sign. So my final answer here is x is greater than 2. So I'm going to put an open circle at 2, and I'm going to shade everything to the right. And so that talks about all those things that we talked about. So what I expect you to be able to come to class with knowledge about is the steps to solve an inequality and what does less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to mean and how is that, effect, how is that affected when we multiply or divide by a negative. You'll be able to do the work for this on your own. The last thing we want to talk about is sometimes you have to distribute. Well, that's okay. Go ahead and just like we practiced, and I went in and skipped all the way to this slide, you distribute to everything inside the parentheses. So in this case, I have 3x plus 4x minus 8 is greater than 19 minus 2x. Just like we've talked about in the past, you combine like terms. And just like we talked about with the steps of equations and inequalities, you get all the variables on one side and all the numbers on the other. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And then I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Now, luckily, I get to divide and not have to worry about the negative. So x is greater than 3. And if I'm going to show that on a number line, 
put an open circle at 3, and I shade to the right. Now, sometimes you solve an inequality and the answer doesn't make sense. So, for example, 3x plus 4 and 3x plus 10. Well, if I go to subtract 3x from both sides, I'm going to end up with 0x. So then I end up with 4 is less than 10. That is true. 4 is less than 10. And so the solution to this inequality is what we call all real numbers. And we'll get to that in a minute. Or infinitely many. If I distribute here, and I distribute here, and then these two cross out, and I end up with 6 is greater than 15. Well, that is false. And so the solution to this inequality is no solution. And so if the variables cancel and you are left with a true statement, I'm sorry, we're going to start with a false statement, the answer is no solution. And there's the symbol. If you variables cancel and you are left with a true statement, the answer is infinitely many solutions. Or, as you know it, you can use the symbol for all real numbers. So what I want you to be able to do is to be able to solve these linear inequalities using the steps that we talked about. I also want you to be able to understand how distribution affects your answers and that the special solutions for all reals are infinitely many and no solution and what they are that they exist so that when we practice these you're set to go hopefully you're able to, to look over these notes if you have any questions email me see me before class if not we'll be ready to go